Well, as promised, we're going to show you guys how to put in these courtesy lights, also known as opera lights, on your 67 or 68 standard. This is Richard Gunn. He's our electrical guy here, and this is his personal driver. And he, like so many of us that drive a 67 and 68 standard, there was no dome lights in these like a Mustang. So you bought your car back in the day in 67, and it was daytime. You didn't think about it. You get home, you realize there's no overhead lighting. XR7's no problem, they all came with that. But 67's or 68's, it was optional. So we're gonna show you um, an easy way to put these in. The wiring's already there, uh, but I know a lot of you are very um, worried about your original headliners and should you even mess with them. Well, Richard's gonna <laughs> show us it can be done. Here you go, Richard. Take all right, <laughs> thank you. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the bottom seat, which is, you just pop it up, slide it out. Next, we're going to want to remove the back seat. Normally, the seats have bolts right down here. Now, I've already removed mine to make this easier, so, but that's where they go. And then you just pop the seat back up because it has clips up here that it sits on. And that makes the top come out. Now, we're going to Remove this quarter panel here. We got to take the door, the window crank off. And I believe it's a 330 seconds hex. You unscrew it and it just comes off. Now there are little plastic washers there. You want to make sure you get those. And then you've got some Phillips screws. We're going to have to take the bottom sill loose so we can get the panel out there. Yeah, we'll see. There's a screw here. And there's a little corner tab that fits over that, so you may be careful with that. Screw down here at the bottom. Okay. So we should be... No, there's one on the... And you just very carefully and easily just pop that out. And there should be, and apparently I didn't put them back in when I did this before, but there should be a screw up here at the top. Okay, now that we've got the, the panels off, I went ahead and removed this back splash panel that goes behind the seat. My headliner's been replaced, so you'll find that if yours is still the factory headliner, it's going to be pulled tight and it's going to be hooked to these clips here. There's these real sharp little clips right here. The factory headliner is pulled tight and pushed in and clipped to those. You'll also find that you'll have a cardboard strip that lays across the top up here and pushes the headliner down and catches these metal uh, tangs that kind of stick out up here. But because mine's been replaced, that that's not there anymore so you can also pull just the edge of your your uh, whatever that is <laughs> I can't remember the name of it but you can pull that a little bit not that it's going to give you any more because as you can see this is really tight right here and you're going to have to get up in there and put this in the right hole what we've decided to show you is how one looks like with no headline or anything in it. And as you can see here, these were the holes I was talking about. Your headliner comes down onto these two points, and then it'll pull down on this row of, of tangs here. So when you stick your hand up in here, you're gonna you can go in here and back here. I'm gonna take this one out real quick so that you can see how they use just the one tang on the light. And then this is where it sits up. When you feel your hand up in here, you reach back here to line your screws up. There's just a little tang right there where they drill these holes for your screws. So when you're putting this back up in here and you put your screw up here, you can kind of feel behind it as well as putting the screw in. 
the screw will go in and just start but you won't probably be able to turn it because if you've never had lights they've never been threaded in but basically that's what you're looking for okay here's another view when you find your wires, you're going to find it on a plastic tab that sits right there. Now this has been out in the weather, so it just kind of broke loose. And your wire will run down that harness, and it's taped. It has old cloth electrical tape wrapped around it on this harness. But it should be right there where you can put your hand in. You can feel that. Sometimes you can wiggle them loose. Sometimes you may have to come from the trunk and just cut the wire or the tape that's holding that so you can pull it back out here and then go up and hook your light up but that's where it's at so first we're going to have to get our hands up in here and refeed this wire back okay now i got the wire through the right hole so now i'm going to hook the light it goes like that you'll notice that when you go to put these on they are marked right hand or left hand so you want to make sure that you're not trying to put the left hand in in this side so we're going to go push the wire back up in the hole pull our harness slack a little bit make sure your headliner stays flat and i am going to take the bulb out while we're doing this so i don't get blinded while it's going in Okay, now we're up in the correct hole. You can see the outline of it. That's where we'll eventually cut it. Now the factory, when they installed it, they used a small Phillips screw to go in there. That's what they're held on with at the factory. Because we can't get a Phillips screwdriver up here, I'm gonna go ahead and substitute a, a quarter inch nut the same size as the screws. You want to try to use the smallest, thinnest ratchet you can find in the smallest socket because you're going to be up in here and you're going to be pushing against that headliner. And you kind of got to search around, but it, once it goes in that little hole that's drilled, you can feel it from the backside, just the tip of it. And then you put your... Again, you want to be very careful about stretching this. Mine's kind of soft because it is kind of new. Now I'm not going to run it down tight till I get all three of them in and then I'll go around and snug them that way if the holes are off just a little bit but now the lights at least held in place and we're going to go start the second screw. I don't think it really matters in which order you do them. Sometimes when on this back one because the headliner is so tight and I don't want to get my hand under it you can push on the very edge of your ratchet but you want to be careful because like I, you can see here, I've already started to pull mine a little bit on the stitching. Fortunately, that'll be covered, but... Now you do the top one. The top one's easier because you've got more headliner room, but you got to get past that hard spot. Sometimes it's easier, too, I found, to slide the ratchet up sideways and then once you're up inside there then rotate the ratchet out instead of trying to fight it this way. We're almost down. Of course now I'll tighten this one up. You don't want to over tighten them. You want to be just down snug. And then go back and re-tighten your other two. Okay. Now Pull your headliner back down. Now you see where the, the light actually is? When, you, when you're pulling this, your headliner down, you can feel it. What we want to do is cut a hole right inside that lip. So we're going to take a razor knife. See, you can, you can see the outline as you pull it down. And we're going to cut inside that. It doesn't have to be perfectly round. It doesn't have to be because when you put the lens in it, it's going to push all this material back against the, the light itself. 
Okay, I can probably cut. Yeah, what we'll do is I'll split it. Just cut it back a little bit. Just to give the fabric something to fold on. Okay. Put our light bulb in. And now we'll put the cap on. When you go to put the cap on, it's indexed. There's a real wide spot here, and then all these are equal. You'll find there's a big tab right here in the front. So all you do is line that up. Pull, make, kind of pull your fabric straight a little bit. And voila. Now, once you've got that in, when you put your other panels, you can pull your, your headliner different ways to take any wrinkles out. And basically, that's it. We're in. One of the tips we kind of learned while we were doing this and didn't really show it till, till we found out after we were done is when you pull this loose, now this just crimps up and folds on there. There's kind of a squeeze and sit. But right here where your headliner is glued in, you could kind of pull that loose. It's just glued and it will give you a little more slack along that bottom where it was so tight. And then you can just take some, some self-adhesive and glue it back on and put your windlass back on. Well, as you can see, it is tedious, it does require patience, and it is kind of difficult at times to feel your way around in there. But like I said, the end result's nice. It really looks good. It makes a real nice light in the car, and it, it's, it's done. Uh, there's different things. If you still have your factory stock headliner, it can be even maybe a little harder because your headliners are a little stiffer. It, like I say, it's just, just a little patience, but we sure enjoyed doing it.